The modern United States of America is most powerful country in human history. With over 800 military base around the world and 37% of global military budget, the U.S. has become the leader of a vast interconnected global system that has helped U.S. spare his influence in the world. Even 100 years ago, the United States was not a global superpower. In this video, we will know how the United States of America became superpower. During the first 70 years of its existence, the United States of America extended in both its territory and influence in North America, eventually it reaching Pacific Ocean in a wave of expansionism. But early Americans were deeply divided as to whether the country should expand beyond the Pacific and Atlantic Ocean. This became a major debate after the Civil War. Some leader like post or Secretary of the State William H. Seward argued that the America should push to become a global power. The Seward succeeded in pushing a plan to perceive Alaska from Russia, but his attempt to buy Greenland and Iceland, as well as the annexed territory in Caribbean, were all blocked by Congress. That because some Americans, including many on Capitol Hill, had a strong anti-imperialist bent. These people worried about the Americans getting more involved in global politics, as well as having to integrate population from inferior races. And this opposition applied in major sect on the imperialists argued to expand. But something was happened in the late 1800s that would change the debate about American expansionism. The industrialist revolution produced economic growth and bigger U.S. economy required a more centralized state and bureaucracy to manage the economic growth. Power became concentrated in federal government. It made easier for expansionist President William McKinley to push United States influence abroad. The key turning point came in 1898. McKinley dragged the country into war with Spanish over the island of Cuba. The rising U.S. easily defeated the Spanish Empire acquiring Puerto Rico, Guam, and Philippines in the process. Over the next two years, the U.S. would annex the Kingdom of Hawaii, Wake Island, and American Samoa. A few years later, the U.S. took control of Panama Canal Zone in 1910 and sent troops to occupy Dominican Republic. It also perceived the American Virgin Island in 1918. During this time, the America also began using its influence to protest its growing commercial and military interests abroad, installing pro-American regime in places like Nicaragua and playing a major role in international diplomacy regarding the Western presence in China. World War I showed how much America's influence had grown. The majority of the time, the America was not in the war. As a result, the America saved its economy from the divest of the war. But President Wilson attended the Paris Peace Conference, which ended the war. And attempted to set the term of the peace, he spreaded the America's most ambitious foreign policies initiative. He was the main proponent of League of Nations, which was to establish the world peace. Yet, isolationism was still a major force in United States. Congress blocked the United States from joining the League of Nations. During the Great Depression and the rise of Hitler, the U.S. was much more focused on its own region than on European affairs. Ultimately, the America's ever-growing entanglement abroad made it impossible for 
to stay out of the global affairs. In the East Asia, the growing Japanese empire posed a direct threat to America's position and troops, and it bring the United States and Japan into conflict. Japanese Pearl Harbor attack brought the United States into the World War II. World War II would transform America's global presence forever. During the World War, the U.S. was only major power to avoid the economic ruin during the war. In that time, the America was in unique position to set the term of the peace, and with aim to preventing war in mind, it took advantage. The most famous example is the creation of United Nations. The UN Charter set up a system of international law prohibiting the wars of conquest like the Nazis and Japanese. It also served as a forum in which the international community would talk in their own dispute and help to resolve them. But while the UN is the most famous of the post-war institution, but it is not the only one. Forty-four allies nations came together in a small vacation in New Hampshire to establish a global financial system that would prevent another Great Depression and war. The result agreement called the Bretton Woods Agreement ultimately became the backbone of global financial system, resulting in the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. By creating this institution, the United States itself to being a deeply involved in world's problem. The, the issue was the world's second largest power, the Soviet Union, saw things differently. The World War II had made allies out of the democratic West and communist East fight against Hitler, but it could not last. The United States saw the Soviet expansion in Western Europe and it created a direct threat to its vision of free trading world. Fearful of the Soviet intention toward the Western Europe, the US and the other European nations created the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, a military alliance meant to stop Russia from invading the other countries in Europe. Globally, the US committed to a strategy called the containment because it was aimed at containing the spread of communism everywhere on the globe. This new global struggle meant that the US had to exert influence everywhere. The Europe was pulled into unlikely alliance with the countries like Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Israel, seeing each of them as the Balkwad against communist. The US began inverting offense secretly in dozens of the country to contain the Soviet influence. Sometimes this meant propping up sympathetic dictator like in Iran, supplying rebels with arms and money like in Afghanistan in 1977 and Nicaragua in 1985. Soviet Union lost the oil in Afghanistan. The economy of the Soviet Union was on the verge of collapse. As a result, the Soviet Union collapsed and break into 15th country. After the collapse of the Soviet, the America became the only superpower in the world.